scientists have discovered how a type of strange type of old star manages to retain a deceptively youthful appearance by eating its neighbor. The stars, known as blue stragglers, have long intrigued astronomers with their youthful looks. The strange distant suns appear brighter and bluer than typical stars as they age. But scientists at the University of Wisconsin-Madison think they have uncovered why blue stragglers retain their youthful glow. They have found the stars use a nifty interstellar trick, slowly feeding on their nearest neighbor by siphoning off its mass. Previously, the group had identified that more than three-quarters of these stars exist in pairs, as part of a binary star system. What is a multi-star system? A binary system is a where two stars are so close together their gravitational pulls cause them to orbit around each other. They do this because they orbit around a central mass that keeps them in a fixed position. Earlier this year, researchers discovered a planet called 30 REB, with four suns, raising the prospect that multiple star systems may be quite common. Binary suns and multiple star systems feature heavily in science fiction like the Star Wars movies where Luke Skywalker's home planet of Tatooine has two suns. In The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the planet Magrathia orbits a binary system while in pitch black, the characters are stranded on a planet with three suns. In Escape to Witch Mountain and Return from Witch Mountain, Tony and Tia's home planet orbits two suns. In Star Trek Voyager, there is a system with two suns and in Doctor Who, Gallifrey the home planet of the Time Lords has two suns in its planetary system. After a couple hundred million years, the red giant star burns out and collapses into a white dwarf that shines intensely in ultraviolet wavelengths. The companion vampire star has bulked up on hydrogen siphoned from the red giant to become much hotter, brighter, and bluer, making it appear young again. Importantly, these vampire stars could account for as much as 25 per center of all stars. Professor Robert Matthew, an astronomer from the University of Wisconsin-Madison who led the study, said that the findings could greatly expand our knowledge of the way stars evolve. For the evolution of single stars like our sun, by and large, we got it right, from birth to death, he said. Now we're starting to do the same thing for the one quarter of stars that are close orbiting binaries. This work allows us to talk not about points of light, but about the evolution of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. That's a big deal, and getting it right is an even bigger deal. The findings are published in the Astrophysical Journal.